Hello and in this video I'll show you exactly how you can cap and uncap your FPS in the game called CS2. So in order to do this we're gonna first open up our console and before we do this we need to enable it. So go to your settings page and then go to game and right there enable developer console make sure it's on yes. After you did that go to keyboard and mouse go to UI keys and then at tool console make sure to remember this key because with this key you're gonna open your console. So this key is usually located under the escape button so click on it and now your console should be open. So first of all type cl underscore show fps1 in order to show your fps so now you know what fps you have. Alright so now I'm gonna share with you the command in order to limit and unlimit your fps. So if we're gonna type fps underscore max, you can now set it from anywhere from around zero to 400. So if we're gonna type zero, your fps is going to be as high as it possibly can. If we're gonna type uh, something like 100, it's gonna cap at 100 fps, as you can see. Now for some reason, you can't go lower than your screen refresh rate. So my screen refresh rate is at 60 fps. So when I try to go lower than 60 fps, it will always keep at 60 fps if possible. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is that for some people, their fps is kept at something like 144 or 180. Now, in order to fix this, make sure your FPS underscore max is on zero and then go to the settings right here. Go to video, go to advanced video and make sure that wait for vertical vSync is disabled. If this is enabled, I'm going to show you my FPS will stay on 60. So if you want higher FPS, go to settings and disable this. What this will do is when this is enabled, it will just try to keep your FPS at the smooth a rate and at a consistent rate but we don't really care about that we don't want it so if you found this video useful i'd say thank you for watching please like and subscribe